Good morning, Sparks. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of a man named Abraham and his wife, Sarah. Okay? So, when the story begins, Abraham's name was actually Abram. And one day, the Lord appeared to him. And Abraham asked him the question, Lord, when I die, who is going to have all my things? I haven't got any children, so my servant is going to get everything I own. And the Lord told Abraham, no, a son of your own will have all your things. And he told him to look up into the sky. He said, Abraham, count the stars. And Abraham tried, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then he lost count. There were so many stars, it was impossible for Abraham to count them. And the Lord said to him, that is how many children you are going to have. Now, when Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him again. And he told him the same thing. He said, you will be the father of many nations. And now your name is going to be Abraham. So he, God changed his name from Abraham to Abraham because he was going to be the father to many, many children. And he also said that your wife, Sarai, is going to change her name to Sarah and she will have a son and you will call him Isaac. Now Abraham laughed and laughed and Sarah laughed and laughed. Abraham said, I'm a hundred years old and Sarah is 90. We cannot have children. That is older probably than your grandparents. That's very, very old. And they thought it was very funny and was not going to happen. But do you know what? It did. And a year later, they had a little baby and they named him Isaac, just like God had told them to. And Isaac grew up into a man. And when he was a man, he had his own children. And his children had children too. And those children had children too. And those children had children too. So Abraham became the father and grandfather and great grandfather of many, many nations. So when God tells us that something will happen, even if it sounds really silly, it will happen. We've got to trust him that things will happen if he tells us that they will. Because Abraham and Sarah, they did have children and they had lots and lots of children, as many as the stars in the sky, just like God had told them. Right, so that's the story of Abraham and Sarah. So now it's time to go and see what song we're going to sing this week. Come on, let's go. Hey guys. Oh, great, guys. What are you doing on this channel? <laughs> I don't know. It's Father's Day and everything. Is this the Sparks channel? Is it? Yeah. I think so. Hey, I should be preaching to Penn Hill. What's going on? Oh, I, I know. Well, no idea. Okay, over to Sparks. Bye, guys. Yeah. Kaylee, Kaylee. Come on, look. Alice. What are you doing? Get out. How are, are they doing? doing? Get out. What are they doing? I have no idea what they're doing. They can't sing or dance. That's no, I don't think any of them will know how to do the song this week. Absolutely not. I do think though our Sparks guys will. Guys, we're going to be doing Father Abraham. So get ready with your arms and your legs, ready to dance. Go! Woo! 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 Father Ray. 
Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, left leg. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. Left leg, right leg, Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. Right leg, left leg, nod your head, turn around and touch the ground. Ready? Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right leg, nod your head, turn around, touch the ground. Yeah!